and it's my thing I like to do. It's a day thing in there. Gotta fill in. Gotta fill it. That's got the name wrong. I haven't been there either actually. It is difficult having no cock. It presents you with challenges that most people just don't know about because of how many of them do have cocks. It's just not spoken about enough because of the social taboo that surrounds something like this. And that's what makes it so frustrating. Right? It makes you feel so alone. And that's why I wanted to make this documentary. Today's a big day. I've, um, I've landed my first job interview in, in quite a while. Actually, uh, I've been out of employment for, for over a year. Uh, I've had to be uh, self employed for quite a while because having no cock on your CV. That's the third time this week. That's that's an expensive one too, that's Ann Summers. It's about forty five pounds. I was about eleven, twelve years old when I first realised I didn't have a cock. Uh, I don't really remember life with one if if I ever I ever did. Um, I was put up for adoption not long after that age, 11 to 12, just just starting high school or should have been. Um, my foster mother died some years ago, so I never really had the chance to ask the questions I wanted to. Um, and that's really made me struggle with a sense of identity because I've got all these questions and there's no one for me to ask. And that's made it feel... It really feels like a dead-end struggle because no one's been there for me with this issue. Everyone's got cocks, but no one's willing to help someone without them. And I don't know where to turn. And that's how it's been since that age. I've had so many struggles and yet no... <laughs> it's been a living nightmare. Let's go. Something like honorable discharge. Okay, well this is the uh, this is the big day, this is the big moment. 
I do have some dreams. There are some things I do want to do. I want to be the world's first cockless man to sail around the ocean. I've always had a deep connection to the sea. The sea just is. It, it is what it is, and it doesn't, it doesn't apologise for its form, its shape. It doesn't care if you've got a cock or not. And that's something I take very profoundly from it. That's why I often find myself going to the beach. It's such a, an isolated place, there's, there's no one there to, to mock or hurt you. It's, it's a safe zone, and so the sea to me means safety. Um, because when you are living life uh, with no cock, it feels like everything's out to get you. And, it's, and the beach is just one small break from that. Um, and I really like the sand. Sand is like a blanket made of sand. That's my safety blanket. Just the sandiness. Is that a word? Yeah, just how sandy it is. So I've been talking to this girl, uh, Linda. She's she's from Canada, uh, Newfoundland, and we've been speaking for a couple of weeks now. Um, we've connected on quite a, a deep level. Um, Does she know about your? Uh, uh, no, no, no. I haven't told her yet. Um, I think she'll be fine with that. No, we've been talking quite intimately and quite closely. And she seems like a good person, and I think she likes me for who I am, and not just more for any possibility of a, of a cock, which obviously I don't have. Uh, yeah, it's going very well. This is it. After <laughs> another <laughs> time. Do you watch porn at all, Sean? Yeah, sometimes. What do you 
do when you watch porn. Just make notes. Yeah, I'll Every now and then, uh, I go to my old orphanage, which is still around here, and I just go there. It was, it's abandoned because of all the uh, the asbestos and uh, the scandal, and uh, I, don't know, I just sit there on my own and I just vent. You're right, mate. Yeah. What's this? No. How have they got this up here? That's quite good. I do have more constructive hobbies. Um, I actually do some art. I dabble in a, a little bit of art. Oh, can we see it? Yeah, sure. Uh, I haven't been doing this for long. Uh, I've never been to art school. I've never been, I've never been to school normally. After school, but, uh, this is what I've been doing. Uh, there's probably a range of things from the past year, year or two. Um, get some more. I'm not a, I'm not an artist. <laughs> this, this one's, this one's a bit of my favourite. <laughs> yeah, I remember doing some of these. Some I don't quite. Uh, Is there a common thing? Um, whatever I'm feeling at the time. Really, uh, I don't think anything connects them. I try to dabble in as many different fields as I can. What's that one? This, uh, this is me. But if my eyes and nose were like a cock,
Sean, do you reckon we could? Do you reckon we could see? You know. Oh, yeah, the documentary. Yeah, of course. I mean, you don't have to. No, no, it's... Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's no problem, yeah. You sure? Yeah, it's fine, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's just nothing. And what, what about your boxers? The what? You, you don't have to, but you, your boxers. What do you mean? Your, your pants, your, your pants are still on. See? Yeah, your pants, mate. Right? You alright? What's up? No, no, please. Okay.